Could the Mantis Sleep Mask Sound finally give you a good night's sleep? In this video, we're gonna go through the pros and cons of this VR looking headset sleep mask to see if it's worth it for you. Okay, so here we have it, the Mantis Sleep Mask Sound. Very excited to try this, so let's get this box open. There we go, okay. So inside the box, we have the mask, of course. Probably just a little bit of advertising there. So that's the mask. What else do we have in the box? Proudly Pro Nap stickers. Looks like we have some instructions here. A case for the mask. Then we also have a USB-C, which we have a lot of already, so that's good. And then I think this must be the optional head strap. We're gonna try on the mask, uh, play around with it, try and connect to my phone and see how it is. So I'm a really light sleeper and I've basically been wearing sleep masks my entire life. And this year I'm taking a year off to travel, so I basically need a sleep mask everywhere I go. I do actually travel with three sleep masks and I desperately need these because I literally cannot sleep if there's even a sliver of light coming into the room. You probably think three is a bit excessive, but I find that if one's in the wash, one's drying, and then you're wearing one, you actually need this many. And these cheap masks that I got off Amazon are pretty good at keeping all the light out. They're pretty comfortable. But I do have an ongoing issue with something, and that is noisy environments. Whether it's the sound of road traffic, whether it's people moving around in a hostel, or just my fiance's incessant snoring, I just really struggle to sleep if there's any noise around. And this sleep mask here has an interesting new feature of being able to provide sound. So I'm very excited to try this. So firstly, the quality. It feels well-designed, well-made, and the materials feel really good. There's a bit of breathability in the front, so it's kind of a mesh lining, but I feel like that wouldn't make much difference considering how thick that is. Then you've got an adjustable strap on the back, so it should fit any size head. Strap on the top, apparently to stop it from slipping off, and then some adjustable speakers on the side here. And I must say it's very easy to connect my phone to the Bluetooth. Basically you just hold this button on the front here down for three seconds and it pairs straight away to the phone. The buttons themselves are quite satisfying to press and they make a kind of clicking noise and have a clicking feeling whenever you adjust the volume. And then when you get to the max volume it plays a little tone to let you know that you've reached the max. So I tried these out listening to some music and the sound quality is okay, but probably what you'd expect for having a speaker which is so flat. With the music I was listening to, there's basically no bass. Uh, you can only really hear the mid-tones and the high tones. So I wouldn't really lis recommend listening to music with these, but I think the speakers are perfectly adequate for any audiobooks, any podcasts, or white noise or rain sounds, which is probably what I'm gonna be using it for. So let's wrap this up and actually try them on in bed. Good morning. So I tried on the sleep mask last night and I had a fairly good sleep. It's definitely a lot heavier than any of the other sleep masks that I used to wear. Any of these cheap Amazon ones, I actually find this a lot more comfortable just because it's a lot lighter on the face, a lot less going on. One thing that I did find particularly annoying was that you have to wear the straps over your ears rather than on the top of your head. And maybe it just takes some getting used to, but it just felt a bit strange to me. And with the straps being so low, it keeps feeling like it's going to slip down your neck. And I guess that's why they've given this head strap. But again, by adding this, it just make, means there's a lot more going on with the sleep mask. And it just feels a lot more bulky and a lot more weight on your face. One thing that I did notice was that I felt like there was a lot of pressure on my ears. So even if I wasn't sleeping on my side, which is what I usually sleep on, I just felt like my, my ears were being pinned back. And I actually woke up this morning with a bit of earache in both sides. I wouldn't say it was very painful, but it was a little bit uncomfortable, which would bring down the rating a little bit for me. Now, despite the minor discomfort, the question is, did they actually work? And I can say they definitely kept all the light out. The eye cups look like this, and there's a lot of adjustable parts. So no matter what shape your face is or what size your face is, you can just move things around. So these cups are connected by Velcro, and then you have the adjustable strap on the back as well. So I think it would keep out the light for most people. My usual routine would be to listen to an audiobook, which I did with this mask, and to be honest, it was great. I really thought the sound quality was good enough for speech and audiobooks, and it meant that I didn't need to wear my usual headphones, which are these massive 
Bose ones which go over ear. And whenever I wear these headphones, I can only really lie on my back. And I can never really lie on my side, which I much prefer to sleep on. And like I said, I'm a very light sleeper in terms of noise. So I really wanted to try the try playing some white noise through these speakers. I connected my phone to the Calm app, I think it was, and just played some rain sounds. And to be honest, I fell asleep in like five minutes. It was pretty comfortable, pretty nice. So I forgot to turn off the features on my phone where all the apps turn off at 12 midnight. So it meant the rain sound stopped at midnight, which you think would be fine because I was already asleep. However, of course I was woken up by my fiance snoring, but I won't hold it against her. I also snore. And I was thinking about getting out of bed and putting the white noise back on, but I really couldn't be bothered and just fell back asleep quite quickly. Anyway, overall, it was a good night's sleep, but of course that was only one night. So I'm gonna be wearing it for the rest of the week to determine if the battery life's any good, if they get more comfortable with more use, and whether or not they actually help my sleep, which is really the most important thing. Good morning. All right, so I've been using the sleep mask all week and the battery life has been pretty good. It claims to have about 20 hours of battery life and I can say it's probably about true. I can use the mask multiple nights in a row with sound playing all night and it has continued to play. And then it takes about two and a half hours to charge from zero to 100. So if you got into a good routine of waking up, putting it straight on charge, I don't see how you'd have any issues with the battery life. You may have more of a problem if you're traveling and you wouldn't be able to charge it for multiple days. But I think for most people, the battery life is gonna be completely fine. Let's be honest, it's an expensive piece of equipment coming in at 143 USD. And it's probably one of the most expensive sleep masks on the market. But it's even worse if you're based in the UK where it comes in at 143 pounds, which is equal to 187 USD, which I think is just too much to pay for any sleep mask, to be honest. Come on, Manta, why you gotta do me and my English brother and over like that? But in the final part of the review, we'll go over whether this hefty price tag is worth it. Okay, to summarize this review, let's go through the pros and cons of this sleep mask. So pros, firstly, it's effective. It does what it says it's supposed to do. It blocks out light and it provides sound, which you can use to listen to things or to block out external sound as well. I find it's particularly good for white noise and I've been listening to white noise sounds like rain sounds, and you can have them playing all night, which really helps drown out any background noise in your environment. The speakers are also really good for audiobooks or podcasts or anything which is just voice. And I found it comfortable enough to sleep on my side, which I can't do with obviously my big headphones or even my AirPods, which always fall out in the night. And they're super easy to use. So they connect to your phone's Bluetooth pretty much instantly. And once it's connected, as soon as you turn them on, they just connect again instantly. Cons been through the hefty price tag they are hefty they are bulky if you're traveling they'll take up a lot of space in your suitcase or your rucksack and they do just feel quite weighty on your face and that weight for that same reason makes them quite hot and it's quite cold here in England at the moment but I imagine tr traveling with these to a hot country or if you lived in a hot country I also found that the pressure of the straps on the ears caused a little bit of discomfort and it did mean that I woke up most mornings with a bit of earache in both sides which although not painful, could put some people off. And lastly, due to the flat nature of the speaker, there's no bass for music. So if you're buying these for music, I probably wouldn't recommend it. So has it actually helped my sleep? I would say yes. They've been good at removing light and sound, which is exactly what they are supposed to do. And I've had some good nights rest with them. I think the idea of combining sleep and sound into a mask is great, but there are a few things in the design which can make them even better. If you found the video useful, please let me know in the comments. And if you're interested in buying one for yourself or any of the other Manta Sleep masks in their range, check out the affiliate link in the description, which helps support the channel and helps me do more reviews like this. I'll see you next week. Keep training, keep living, peace. Thank you.